Now let's go on to question nine. They say we've got a circuit diagram that is set up as in the diagram below. They say resistors R1, R2 and R3 are identical. Switches S1 and S2 are closed. They say ignore internal resistance. Right, so now um, they say use the diagram above to answer the following questions. Uh, firstly, they say state Ohm's law in words. I hope that you know that law off by heart. It says the current across a conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference provided temperature remains constant. Of course, I've seen other versions that say a potential difference is directly proportional to the current provided temperature remains constant. All right, so that's how we are going to mention that. So they say, name the component uh, of a non-ohmic conductor uh, in this diagram. Now, um, remember that when we talk about a non-ohmic uh, non conductor, rather, it is a conductor that uh, obeys uh, Ohm's law, right? So um, remember that if you look at uh, any of these um, uh, um, conductors where we would have a non ohmic conductor a light bulb because remember the brighter it burns uh, you know it tends to uh, generate heat and as a result uh, it will actually deviate from Ohm's law so we would say component L okay so that would be component L which is a light bulb Now they say on the next one, write down the reading on the voltmeter with both switches closed. All right, so if we note there, so the voltmeter would actually be reading uh, the parallel uh, voltage, all right, so which means it's the same as the EMF, so which means here, our voltmeter would have a reading of 12 volts. Okay, and a switch, now they say switch S1. Oh no, actually I've um, I filled in the wrong uh, answer. So that would be with both switches uh, closed. Now they say switch S2 is open. Now the moment we, we open switch S2, what it means is that uh, those two resistors actually are uh, not connected to the circuit. There's no current flowing through them. They say write down the reading on the voltmeter. Okay, so once again, even with switch S2 open, uh, the reading on the voltmeter there uh, would still be that 12 volts again. So that would still be 12 volts. And uh, the next one uh, says switch S2 is closed. So which means we would have current there, but they said S1 is opened. Uh, now note, when switch S1 is open, it means there's no current that's flowing into our circuit, okay? No current is flowing. So now they say write down the reading on the voltmeter V. So that would be zero volts. Okay, since it won't be connected to the other side of the battery. Okay, so we'd have zero volts there. So they say switch S2 is opened. How would this affect the emitter reading? Okay, right, only increase, decrease, or stays the same. Now, the moment we open switch S2, okay, um, then that means that we are actually removing resistor R1 and that light bulb over there, right? So what this does is that it will increase uh, the resistance. Now, remember, once you remove resistors in parallel, it means that we're going to actually increase the external resistance of the circuit, right? And now that means that once a resistance increases, uh, we will therefore decrease the current, okay? So 
uh, in this case, they said S2 open. How will this uh, affect the emitter reading? So that will definitely decrease uh, the emitter reading. The current would decrease, right? Okay, and then finally, they say both switches are closed. Uh, R1 is removed. How would this affect the voltmeter uh, reading? Okay, so we close both switches. We remove resistor R1. All right, so in this case, by removing that resistor, we are actually going to... Um, we're actually going to have the external resistance of the circuit is actually going to decrease, right? So we've removed that resistor. So we, uh, they say, um, how would this affect the voltmeter reading? Actually, uh, that does not affect the voltmeter reading at all, uh, since in this case, I remember it would still give us the same 12 volts. So. We say it will stay the same. All right, so that is how we reach uh, the conclusion of this uh, question paper. Ladies and gents, we've come to the end. And of course, if you are still struggling with physical science, uh, please look at the description of this video. Uh, you will get all the information you need for our center and all our extra classes. Uh, just get in touch with us. And of course, our camp is coming. Uh, please do make sure that you are a part of that and I promise you will sort out all, your, all of your issues in terms of maths and science. Otherwise, ladies and gents, uh, it's been a pleasure being with you and please don't forget to subscribe and like and please do share with your friends. I'll see you guys next time. It's shop shop.